Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, we're continuing on from the last video with number five of the uh, Thornhill uh, razor, vintage razor. The soap I'm using today is a very recommendable sandalwood um, from Taylor's of Bond Street in London. Very creamy, and as well as the Taylor's. Share brush. This is my second one that I've had uh, in 40 years. So I think this shaving brush, if it lasts for another 40 years, it'll certainly outlive me. Oh, there again. You pay money. And if you buy cheap, you get cheap. And you got good quality. We lost. Pure badger hair. And as you can see, it's really creamy soap. You know, it actually says shaving cream. But it, it's it's solid like a soap, but it's more creamy. So there you are. So uh, recapping. Put the old goggles on for this. Uh, there's a beautiful coromandel box, which I intend to sell separately because the set is incomplete, as I explained before. Uh, there's seven razors, but two are broken. Uh, so today we're going to shave test number five and we construct six and seven and combine the two. So um, put that down there. So I'll shave test number five out of a possible six. But uh, this is the last video this week, because as of next week, I'm away on holiday. So I'll restore the other razor when I get back after next weekend. So this is number five, just as smooth as all the others. I'll just clean it. Show you the watermarks. Slight, you can see a slight watermark there. I've hand polished these, I don't use grinding. When some instruments as delicate as this, there's another watermark just about there. Uh, the pivot's stiff, as you can see. And there's a Baker Thornhill on the tang. And considering it was made in 1840 or thereabouts, almost 200 years old, it's quite well presented in the original handle, no cracks or chips. It's a pity about number six and seven. 
So it would have been a beautiful seven day set. Not to mention the Coromandel case. But should we know anything about the case makers? You know that Coromandel wood is now completely extinct due to the overuse of vanity cases in the Victorian times. Public transport trains were becoming more popular, more efficient, so people travelled around more. And in the Victorian times, when the wealthy individuals travelled, they took everything but the kitchen sink with them. And leather trunks and coromandel cases and vanity boxes. Hallmarked in silver, of course. These days, of course, it's all plastic, but nevertheless, it's nice to put a bit of nostalgia into your personal routine with some quality product. I think that's why I've always liked antiques of various sorts, clocks, motorbikes, cars. Shaving gear, as you know. But all bikes in particular, they knew how to build bikes in those 50, 60, 70 years ago. So there we go, that will suffice for this video, nice vintage razor, 120 years old, and still going strong. They're still shaving Greek gods like me to go on holiday next week. <laughs> okay, thanks very much for watching, and I'll no doubt catch up with you after next weekend, after the 29th, 30th of July. Probably into August now. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. And that's another little Thornhill razor for you to study. I'll put it on my Etsy channel when I on my return. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. Have a good one.